Hey guys, it's Kylie, and today's video is a review of set 75187. It is the Lego BB-8. Um, I just finished building it. I got it for Christmas, so this is... Took me a couple days to actually get around to building it because we were away and stuff, but this is what it looks like. Now, I'm going to go through each part of it. So the first part is this sign that it has and it goes through some of the facts about the BB-8 un unit so it's a B like it has its model that it's BB-8 unit um, affiliation saying that's with the resistance its primary function of navigation and repair its height of 6 0.67 meters um, the equipment it has like a welding torch and stuff like that and its primary sensor color which is red so it goes through like some basic facts of the unit and then also down here at the bottom it's got a mini figure size BB-8 to go with the full size BB-8 that you get now some of the cool functions of the BB-8 is that if you spin this side so the side has like a, if you spin it out it's like welding thing comes out so you can that moves around and stuff like that and this door flaps open and then all you have to do is spin it back in and it closes back into the unit and you just shut the door. Another cool function of it is its head and as the BB-8 rolls around you know its head kind of spins to stay on top of its body so with the side function if you just slightly move it back and forth it wiggles it back and forth and then it also can spin the head 360 degrees so it moves back and forth and can spin the head around. You can also just push it if you wanted to, but the whole point is to spin it. Let me put you down here. So, overall, it was a pretty easy set to build. It's a lot of like repetitive functions um, to build it. I keep pulling the side off. There you go. Um, to build the BBA, because a lot of it's just building like the four. This, well, actually, it's all f six sides, so you have the four main sides. Ooh, its antenna fell off. Um, you have its four main sides and its top and bottom that you had to build and those were like the same thing over and over again. It's also a lot of Technic pieces in the middle to make give it the movement but overall it's a pretty easy build. Um, I would highly recommend it for Star Wars fans. It's a good set to add to your like Star Wars collection and it gives it's more of a collectible set with the um, having the stand to put it on and giving the information to be with it. Um, it was not a ton of pieces. It was a lot of small pieces. Oops, sorry. Um, it was only 1,106 pieces, which isn't a lot of pieces. It was just for this it looks like it would be but there's a lot of like single one by one tiles that you have to put it on to help give it the round look that it has um yeah overall i would recommend getting this set hope you guys enjoyed watching this video this is i have one more video going up for the month of december tomorrow um that video will be posted at two and then we'll be on to the new 2018 year hope you guys enjoyed watching my videos all throughout december check those out in the playlist that's linked at the end, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.